Hello everyone, in this class we will learn about abnormal ECG. Heart block. It is defined as a disturbance in the normal transmission of impulses generated in SA node. The normal PR interval is 0.12 second. When it exceeds 0.2 seconds, this, then this condition is called as heart block. Some of the causes for heart block are myocardial infarction, inflammation of the myocardium or the conducting system and excessive vagal stimulation. There are different types of uh, synoatrial block, synoatrial nodal block. Here the level of block is within substance of SA node. After an interval of approximately 2 cardiac cycle, the heart resumes its normal action as some new pacemaker other than SA node takes over. The impulse originates spontaneously in the AV node. The rate of QRS T complex is altered. AV nodal block. Here there is a disturbance of conduction between atria and ventricles. There are two types of AV nodal block. Incomplete heart block and complete heart block. So this diagram showing normal cardiogram and this is showing a, a SA node block and uh, when SA, uh, SA node block is there so then the, the autorhythmic activity taken by the AV node and this is the complex which is produced by the AV node. Incomplete heart block are of two types that is first degree heart block and second degree heart block. In first degree heart block, the PR interval is prolonged, that is about 0.2 seconds, but all atrial impulses reach ventricle. All P waves are followed by QRS complex. In second degree heart block, here is also there is a, a prolonged PR interval uh, above 0.2 seconds, but all atrial impulses are not conducted to ventricles. All QRS complexes are preceded by P waves but all the P waves are not followed by QRS complexes. And it is of two types that is 2 is to 1 heart block. Here every uh, two P waves are followed by a QRS complex in 3 is to 1 heart block. Here every three waves, uh, three P waves is followed by a QRS complex. And Wenke-Back phenomena is, uh, is in this condition PR interval is long progressively until one impulse fails to be transmitted to the ventricles and it is a cyclical phenomenon. Complete heart block is here there is uh, no, no impulse is transmitted from atria to ventricles. There is a complete atrioventricular dissociation. Atria contracts at its own rate and ventricle contacts contract independently at its own rate and rhythm. So that is why it is called as idioventricular rhythm. When complete heart blocks occurs suddenly the ventricles take some time before it can beat as its own rhythm during this time there is a cerebral anoxia as there is no cardiac output this will lead to syncope and fainting attack called stokes adams syndrome so this is a diagram showing the normal rhythm so this showing the first heart block where there is a prolonged pr interval and here it is showing different types of second degree heart blocks that is Wenke Beck phenomena. Here PR is prolonged at subsequent beats and at one point the QRS complex disappears. And in complete heart block there are twist one block after uh, two P, uh, P waves there is an appearance of ventricular complex. In three to one block after three P waves there is appearance of one QRS complex and third degree heart block is total uh, AV dissociation that is there is no relation between atria and ventricular contractions. Bundle branch block here there is a block of one of the branches of bundle of his so excitation process passes normally down to the bundle on the intact side and then sweeps, sweeps back through the muscles to activate the ventricles on the blocked side. It may be right bundle branch block, left bundle branch block and hemi block that is fascicular block. When block occurs in the anterior or posterior fascicles of the left bundle branch it produces hemi block. 
here you can see this is a normal complex and in left bandle branch block you can see the m pattern uh, the qrs complex is seen and in wb that is in right bundle branch block you can see the w pattern in the in the ventricular complex in lead one so this is seen in lead one and this is seen in v6 wpw syndrome that is wolf parkinson's white syndrome a congenital abnormality where an accessory bundle of muscle fiber is called bundle of kent connects right atria to the ventricles as a result depolarization wave from the atria is transmitted to ventricle faster bypassing the av node so av nodal delay is absent and pr interval is shortened here wide slurred qrs complex is obtained normally beat conducts down the av node but here impulse is transmitted retrograde to the atrium due to the aberrant bundle the circus movement is thus established so here you can see because of the bundle of ken the the recircus movement uh, circular movement is established in wpw syndrome where it is character, characterized by wide and slurred qrs complex long genong levine syndrome here depolarization passes from atria to the ventricles via aberrant bundle the impulses between bypasses av node but uh, enters interventricular conducting system distal to the node qrs complex is normal but pr interval is shortened here in myocardial infarction uh, when blood supply to the part of the myocardium is interrupted there are profound changes in the myocardium that lead to irreversible changes and death of the muscle cells this phenomenon is called as myocardial infarction and ecg is very useful in diagnosing ischemia uh, and area of infarction the diagnosis of the myocardial infarction can be done by elevation of st segment in the leads overlying the area of infarct and depression of st segment in the reciprocal leads pathological qa also indicates the presence of old infarct and also t wave inversion as well six sinus syndrome is a disease process affecting the sinus node that will lead to marked bradycardia accompanied by dizziness and syncopal attacks so this is a diagram showing the effect of acute myocardial infarction where you can see initially the st segment elevation so then later Uh, the st segment st segment depresses and slightly depresses and there will be t wave inversion and after some times there you can see the prominent t wave inversion and the q wave is seen in old infarcts ecg changes in electrolyte concentration in hypokalemia uh, mild hypokalemia leads to prominent u u wave whereas in severe hypokalemia there can be prolongation of the pr interval there can be prominent u wave there can be depression of the st wave and inversion of the t wave in hyperkalemia in mild hyperkalemia tall slender t wave appears with the severe tall slender t wave is seen and broad and slurred qrs complexes are observed in hypokalemia obviously there will be prolonged qt interval and sometimes it may lead to ventricular fibrillation so you can see observe the in hypokalemia there can be st segment depression or in hyperkalemia so there can be tall slender t waves so this is in brief about abnormal ecg thank you